very ambitious project that came along uh, during the pandemic and uh, from the inception of it to today, I think it's been a grind. We've been trying to you know, put things together. We've been trying to uh, make a vision happen. And Andre has had a very set vision about what he wants out of this festival, whereas we you know, have always seen this country has seen from 2011, has seen tattoo conventions, which has grown into a very conventional, you know, stereotype convention that we've been experiencing all these years. You know, from 2011, when I remember, you know, we did the first convention called Tattoo Republic, till the last convention in 2019 called Hard Road. You know, we've all tried to replicate, we've all tried to duplicate, and do the same things over and over again. Uh, some may have done it well, some probably did not. And so with this, what we wanted to do is, I've always been, being an artist, I've always felt that, you know, collaborations were the way to go. And right now we see collaborations are happening on every platform possible, whether it be digital, whether it be, you know, otherwise or uh, movies or any sort of platform, you see collaborations and that's the way to go. You know, so for us, collaborating and doing things with other artists who sometimes don't get the legit platform that they really deserve, but the whole motive of this convention or this event is that we give the platform to people who really deserve it, but haven't had it till date. So, you know, with that, even from the last conventions that I did with hard work, you know, I always wanted the, the main thing that's your face, that's your, the poster that speaks so much about the convention. I've always wanted artists to come together, put their art form together, and you know, create something which they would want to be proud of. You know, and with this, I see this happening, you know, I see it happening with this event that we have planned. And honestly speaking, this is not an event which, you know, I would solely want to take credit for. It's, it's a vision that we all started together. In fact, there are other people sitting over there who also are a part of it, who, you know, wanted to come together and create something for the community. So that's where it all started and that's where we are all heading to. So the more we support, the more we are going to grow. And I'm not saying that it's going to be for myself or for you or for you. It's going to be for everyone. So we'd rather come together and let's support this cause. I would really like to thank Mangala Ben and Pramod for putting this together and coming up with this poster that we are going to be unveiling right now. Thank you. Uh, good evening, everybody. Sir, sir, sir. On behalf of Nesco, on behalf of Nesco, on behalf of Nesco, I welcome the tattoo community to our venue. Uh, as has been said by Henry, we are very excited to be a part of this uh, experiment for us. We are a venue, so we do a lot of activities both in the B2B and B2C space and we will go, this will, uh, you guys will find it uh, you know, very useful and you will find the venue very cooperative and help, help you to grow your community here and whatever help is required from our side, we will always be there with you. Okay. Let me call Andrew.
is learned under Shanti Bai, who is Bangla Bai's daughter. Um, he's been coming to hard work all these years of supporting us. And we got in touch, I got in touch with him and told him that we want, we want to reach out to Mangala Bai and ask her if she's going to support us with uh, giving her artwork to us. And we want to take it and give it, as I said, to, to Mumbai or to anywhere in India to an artist who's going to collaborate with it and make that possible. And she immediately said yes to it. She was like, okay, I'm, I'm happy to do this for you all. And uh, so this poster came all the way from Madhya Pradesh, from uh, her hometown. Uh, it came here to Mumbai. We, we sent it across to, to Pramod. And uh, we've been fortunate that Pramod put his work together. And then the whole artwork got digitized at Iron Buzz. And uh, thank you, Eric, and your team for um, creating this, the digital version of it. And uh, to talk, not to talk too much about it, Mangalabai, Sam, Pramod. Eric, all you guys who helped put this poster together and this, please come here. Mangalabai, please about. So, yeah, I think that's been the moment that we've all been waiting for and anxiously to know what we are here to do. That's the meeting the rock star Mangalabai. ये सारे आपके परिवार हैं, सारे आपके फैमिली हैं। कहीं पे भी इंडिया में आप जाओगे। मैं बता नहीं सकती कि मैं इतना खुश हूँ। मेरे नाम मंगलवाई मरावी है, मैं ग्रामलालपुर जिला डिंगल प्रदेश से आई हूँ। और मेरी मम्मी का नाम श्रीमती सांदीबाई मरावी है, और मेरे पापा का नाम श्री चमनसिंह मरावी है। और मैं यहाँ आके इतनी खुश हूँ कि मैं बता नहीं सकती क्योंकि ये मेरा जो पारंपरिक है बैगा जाति का घूमना वो अब लुप्त हो रही है इसको किसी भी तरह से मेरे को बचाना है इसलिए से मैं बहुत से ऐसे लोग हैं जिनको सिखा रही हूँ क्योंकि अपने जाति के जो हैं अभी की पीढ़ी के लोग को नहीं करते हैं केवल मैं ही रह गई हूँ ये घुटना बैगा जाति के करने वाले और कोई कर नहीं रहे हैं इसलिए से मैं इसको बचाने के लिए बहुत सारे ऐसे जगह में गुरुवाते हैं सरकार द्वारा तो वहाँ जाके मैं इनको सिखाती भी हूँ और पेंटिंग भी बनाना और घुटना भी बनाना जैसे कि अभी ये अमित भाई आए हुए हैं ये भी काफ़ी घुटना करते हैं पैदा के तो बहुत अच्छा लगा मेरे को यहाँ आके मैं बहुत खुश हूँ धन्यवाद How did you like collaborating? How did you like your artwork and your artwork? How did you like it? How did you like it? Good. I saw your painting first. Tell me. 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 अभी सेंटर है। और और अरे क्या बोल रहा है ये भाई ये क्या है ये ना क्या बोल रहा है बोलो 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 और सारे पोस्टर देखने को आता था। पोस्टर आया है। थैंक यू सो मच आंध्र फॉर गिविंग मी दिस अपॉर्चुनिटी। थैंक यू थैंक यू थैंक यू। नेक्स्ट टाइम मैं प्रैक्टिस करके आऊँगा। So, um, you know, we'll move forward with what we are here for, all of us. So, I would request Pramod, Mangala Ben, and Eric, can you just come here and be a slight motivation and support system for, for Pramod? <laughs> we need his helping hand. Yeah, that's Eric from Iron Buzz, and uh, we all know him, he needs no introduction. So guys, that's what the collaboration looks like. And that's the effort put in by Mangala Ben and Ramon. Yeah. Yeah. 
that school up a global gathering and Pramod, would you want to say something? <laughs> okay, thanks, thank you guys. The, the name of the festival is called Kula. Kula comes from the word Kul in Sanskrit, which means a clan, a community, and a tribe. So we are all a modern tribe, we are all a modern clan, and that's where Kula comes from. So uh, it's for everybody, and everybody is going to be a part of it. Uh, the dates, the dates are 12th, 13th, 14th, 15th of Jan. It's it's four days with the first day being dedicated to the Taiwan community and uh, that's where we share knowledge and the next three days are open to the audience. So you get your boots on the 12th, you know, you can set it all up and uh, then you've got three days of Taiwan happening. So thank you, thank you everybody once again for coming here and uh, now Mr. Adhikari is going to give us a lot of alcohol and a lot of food to party. <laughs> He told me that I don't do this, he will not give me anything. No, but thank you, sir. Thank you so much. Group photo, sir. Group photo. Please. Group photo. Group photo. Yes, yes. Yes. Sir, I'll get it. 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 Mangla ji, here, 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 Pramod bhai, here, here, very nice, very nice, hold it, hold it, please, yes, what are you doing, 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 I think um, we've been we've been you know with tattoo culture for a very very long time, and uh, something like this is more on an education to educate our audience that tattoo is safe, tattoo is healthy, tattoo is hygiene, and uh, it's it's absolutely safe to get tattooing done. So I think a project like this is more to announce. Sam, a project like this is more to announce and you know teach teach the audience that. You know, this is a culture that can be accepted. It was accepted, you know, traditionally in the early days, and now in the modern world, we should accept tattoos, and tattoos should be accepted everywhere. You shouldn't be judged. You shouldn't be judged by your tattoos, but uh, it's a form of art, and this art has been practiced in traditional style and now in modern contemporary style. So that's one of the the main reasons that we are doing this is to is to make our community known. And make the audience known. Uh, it's also about uh, gathering, gathering of communities together, and showcasing, you know, our traditions and our culture. And tattooing has been a culture for for a very, very, very long time in India. And that's what we want to say that, you know, come experience this culture and be a part of this culture. So. Uh, to start with the Kula, Kula being the name, Kula being the name is is about 
it comes from the Sanskrit word called Kul. And Kul means community, it means clan, it means uh, tribe. And we are a modern tribe, all of us. You know, we've, we've, we've existed from millions of years back and that's what they did then. And this is what as a modern tribe is what we are doing. But we are, it's the same practice that's going on, tattooing. It's just more evolved and evolved and come. And we want cooler, what we made cooler worldwide. So we want to take this project out from India everywhere else and not bring, bring, bring like what's happening around the world into India, but take what's happening in India, take it around the world and say, you know, hey, this is our tradition, this is our culture. And uh, we are here to present it to you as cooler worldwide. So, yeah, it's about, it's not only cooler, but it's cooler worldwide that we want to go with it. So, you know, like like I said when I was talking earlier, that we've done conventions in the past. We've done, you know, we've brought artists together. We've brought, you know, artists from across the globe. But it's never happened the way this one is going to be happening because this involves not only tattoo artists but you know artists from every walk of life. We are talking about indigenous artists who have been who are the roots of you know the evolve where where this art form evolved from. So we are trying to bring in those people who are trying to revive this art form in some way or the other in their with facing a lot of hardships, with facing a lot of problems like you know, Mangala Bhain also described that it's a dying form. But what we are trying to do is we are trying to revive it and giving them a platform to come and showcase what this art form was and what it is right now. So that's what this, that's how this event is going to be different. That's how Kula is going to be different from the ones that have happened in the past. You know, we've never really tapped in or never really thought about it in the past with the past events. But with this event, we want to bring that change where not only tattooing but how did it all start needs to be showcased. That's how it is. So we are expecting anything between say 100 to 150 artists, 100 to 150 artists. Yes, global. Global, global. yes. That's why we call it a, a global gathering. Yeah. And uh, you know the timeline for this is like, get ready, we're returning to where it all started. So. It's about getting ready and we returning to where it all started and giving them respect and also seeing how how we can coexist. Like Sam would want to, you know, want to use that art form in some way in his modern collaborations. So that's that's the whole core of this event, of this platform. You know, trying to help each other by collaborating by using each other's work and giving each other the credit that we all deserve you know and coming up with something that is more than beautiful in a way picturistic way where you know we probably would have never imagined it to be so that's what this art form is this whole this platform is trying to do when we talk about uh, like it's, it's, we are getting everything from Hollywood, right? yeah. yes what response we are getting from the uh, other factory when we are oh, the response has been super great i mean uh, in with so so Sam's curating the the, the artist. He's, he's mentoring this, but he's also curating the artist to be here and refocusing and bringing a lot of indigenous artists from across the world, um, from Sarawak, from New Zealand, from uh, Australia, from India itself so much. But I think uh, he's always got the best artist who who in terms of art were the best, you know, and, and educated India with that. And Sam can say a few of the names that he's curated and he's brought down. And I'm sure he's got a plan, he's got a plan for the for, for this as well. So, you know, we as a team, to be very honest, I would say, you know, Andre and myself, we've traveled so much extensively, you know, that we have met and we've come across so many friends so many people who practice tattooing on a completely different level. As in the exposure, not just for us, has been eye-opening. It's been a roller coaster ride where we probably never imagined that art form could be in this manner, could be practiced in this way. Like, 
we've got friends from New Zealand who probably get into the go into the forest. They you know do rituals and then they come back and then they start tattooing and do. Then we've met people from Philippines, from the Southeast Asian community, where you know every tattoo is done. That is done is done after a ritual that is done. You know they do their prayers, they do their offerings, and then they start doing the tattoo. So it's not only tattooing that these people are doing. They're, they're doing so much more than that. You know it's a it's a revival. It's it's an eye-opening experience which I feel everybody in our community should experience. Because till date, we've all that we've experienced and we've been exposed to is you lift the machine, you pick up the machine, you start tattooing, the client is done, you go back home. You know, but now this is the kind of exposure that we want people to know and see that this is how serious an art form can be for some, and we want you to bring that seriousness into your practices. You know, that's what we are planning, trying to do. We definitely want to represent India yes. globally. Absolutely. So, you know, we want to say like, hey, India's, India's here, and this is our culture, this is our tattoos, and we represent India on a global platform. Something new arising this year. A everything is very new. Uh, we kind of uh, put everything aside from the from what happened in the pandemic. We put our thoughts aside of how we were doing things in in, uh, in the in the pandemic, and we. We've now aligned ourselves to a post-pandemic world, you know, and that's what it's about, about coexisting as, as a post-pandemic world. And we want communities to come together to coexist. Uh, Pre-pandemic, we all we lived and did our own things and our own communities, but I think it's evident that we, we coexist and help each other. So it's a fresh, new thought, but as I said, going back to our roots and, you know, bringing more communities together. You know, trust me, I'm sorry, but my last word of my input would be, you know, trust me, we both are equally scared as much as we are happy to do this. <laughs> as much as we are happy to do it and we want to do it for the community. We are also, you know, we have cold feet sometimes and wonder that whether we should do it or not, whether it will work. But we really hope and we pray that it should work and it will work. It will. So, thanks about it. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. The bar's worried about this. NISCO is arguably the India's largest private sector exhibition center. And we do a lot of events here, across uh, all through the year. And But we have never uh, really gone into you know events which are so-called in B2C in nature. So we are hoping that this will help to grow the tattoo fraternity here and also help we want to be a you know, support system because we have the value here, we have the resources to help them to uh, create a bigger, uh, maybe a, a big, create a bigger community. That's what we want to help them do that. Then. Namaskar. My name is Manglavai Maravi. I am from Gram Lalpur, Jila Dindori, Madhya Pradesh. Give me a point moment, और यहाँ आके मेरे को बहुत मतलब मैं कह नहीं सकती बहुत खुशी हो रही है क्योंकि जो ये कार्यक्रम करने वाले हैं ये बहुत ही अच्छा कार्यक्रम है क्योंकि हमारे पीढ़ी दर पीढ़ी से जो घुटना चलती आ रही है वो अब लुप्त होने की कगार पे है अभी भी सौ में दस परसेंट भी नहीं बचा है बहुत सारे ऐसे लोग हैं जो अभी भी करा रहे हैं लेकिन बहुत कम शहर में तो ज़्यादा हो गया है लेकिन देहात में तो कम हो गया है गांव देहात में कुछ भी नहीं हो रही है तो इसको बचाने के लिए ही हम ये कार्यक्रम रख रहे हैं तो जैसे यहाँ मुझे बुलवाए हैं मैं यहाँ आके बहुत खुश हूँ और लोग सीखना चाहते हैं जानना चाहते हैं इसके बारे में क्यों करा रहे हैं कैसे करा रहे हैं उनको मैं सब विस्तार से बताऊँगी जितना मेरे को पता है तो क्या है कि गुदना जो है तो पारंपरिक बैगा जाति के गुदना उनके जाति प्रथा का पहचान होती थी जब तक बैगा जाति के महिलाओं के जैसे ये माथे में चूल्हा नहीं होती तो चूल्हा नहीं होने के कारण में उनको बैगा जाति के नहीं मानते थे तो चूल्हा बनवाना उनके लिए ज़रूरी था और चूल्हा इसलिए बनवाते थे कि, कि हमारे घर में भोजन बनती रहे और हमारे घर में कभी अनाज या भोजन की कमी ना हो इसलिए से और घुटने पे दिया बनवाते थे दिया मतलब हमारे घर में रोशनी बनी रहे उस ज़माने में लाइट बिजली कुछ भी नहीं थी 
नांगा बैगा और नांगा बैगिन की जमाने की बात है ये तो मतलब हमारे घर में दिया जलती रहे ताकि रोशनी मिलती रहे ऐसे करके फिर बखर बनवाया और बैल के आँख बैल के आँख सही रहेंगे तभी तो वो मतलब चलेगा हल इसलिए ऐसे ऐसे बनवाए और बहुत सारे ऐसे चीज़ें हैं बखर है और चकमक पत्थर से आग जलाना तो चकमक पत्थर ठोक के आग जलाते रहे तो पहले आग कुछ भी नहीं होती थी उस जमाने से चलती आ रही है जो अपनी पारंपरिक ये गुदना है ये लुप्त हो रही है इसलिए ऐसे अब मैं शहर में लोगों को बताती हूँ सिखाती हूँ और सीख भी रहे हैं बहुत ही अच्छे से सीख रहे हैं मेरे को बहुत खुशी हो रही है कम से कम हमारी ये धरोहर जिंदा रहेगी कहीं भी रहेगी जिंदा रहेगी तो इसीलिए यहाँ आके मेरे को बहुत अच्छा लगा और ये कार्यक्रम तो एकदम बहुत अच्छा लगा मेरे को अब मैं ज़्यादा तो कुछ नहीं कह सकती धन्यवाद जी जी तो ये बीढ़ी है और ये झेला है झेला मतलब जड़ भी सही होना चाहिए जैसे हम फसल उगाएंगे तो हमारी जड़ भी सही होना चाहिए और जिसको भी झेला बोलते हैं ऊपर का जो फसल है वो भी अच्छा होना चाहिए अनाज अच्छा पकना चाहिए ऐसे वो दर्शाती है और ये मछली का काटा है और ये चकमक झेला जो पत्थर से आग निकाल देते हैं और ये बैल का आँख है और ये है धंधा धंधा मतलब कोई भी बिजनेस अपन कर रहे हैं वो सही होना चाहिए और ये है कुंडी कुंडी जो मांस का बना हुआ मछली फंसाने का तो वो लोग मांस मछली बहुत खाते थे इसलिए से ये कुंडी बनवाए और ये है दौरी दौरी मतलब बांस की ही होती है जिसमें चावल धोने के काम आती है और ये है मधुमक्खी के छत्ते और ये सागर सागर जो दरवाजे पे कड़ी लगा थी उसको भी बोलते हैं और सागर लहर भी बोल देते हैं जैसे लहरें समुंदर की लहरें हैं उसको भी बोलते हैं और ये है मुरैला और ये भी सेम चीज़ है तो माछी मुड़ी टिपका तो ये कुल मिला के मधुमक्खी के छत्ते ऐसे ऐसे ही बना है पूरा और ये है चूल्हा और ये बड़ी ये लकड़ी हो गया और ये बिंदी है अनाज की ढेर है ताकि हमारे घर में अनाज हमेशा रहे धन्यवाद